Hi guys, I'm Smita. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related with a very specific focus on how you guys can learn machine learning with no technical background. In today's video, I want to talk about the math involved in machine learning. So what sort of math is especially important if you are trying to learn machine learning? What are some of the most helpful courses when you're trying to pick up this sort of very essential math, for example, probability, statistics, these type of things. And also, what is the importance of learning math when you're trying to learn machine learning? Because obviously there are a lot of different arguments out there. Of course, some people believe that, you know, you don't really need math in order to learn something like machine learning. But the majority of people do agree that, of course, math is really important for machine learning. And there are several reasons for that. So in today's video, I will be talking about exactly that. So let's get into it. Within machine learning, there are different levels of math involved. And depending on exactly what you plan on working as or the type of roles that you see yourself working as in machine learning, that is going to affect the level of math that you need to know. So for example, if you want to work as a machine learning engineer or a data scientist at a tech company, then there is a certain level of math that you would need to know. Now, it is not the highest level of math. However, this is very different when we are looking at research roles within machine learning. So even at places like Google and Facebook and also a bunch of other tech companies, they have research roles within machine learning. So these type of roles are specifically focused on research, such as you know creating brand new machine learning algorithms, creating entirely new machine learning libraries and frameworks. So these type of things, we would definitely expect candidates who are applying for these research roles to have the highest level of math possible, to have that type of knowledge. Because of course, research roles and technical roles are going to have very different requirements. So depending on exactly where you see yourself, you can definitely understand what sort of math you need to learn. Let's actually talk about what is the basic math which you need to even get into a technical level machine learning role. I'm going to be covering the four categories of math which is required if you are applying for these machine learning engineering roles. So the first one is linear algebra. Now this actually is a large percentage of the math which is required and you definitely need to focus on this a lot especially if you are starting out to learn machine learning. The second type is probability theory and statistics. So linear algebra and probability, probability theory and statistics actually are a majority of the math which you need. The next two which I'm going to be naming, you just need to have a basic understanding of that. Obviously, it's good if you know some deeper concepts as well. So the third is multivariate calculus and the fourth is algorithms and complexity. Now, it really helps if you can get a deeper understanding of these last two but the first two which is linear algebra and probability theory and statistics are the major types of math which you definitely need to know. There are many reasons why math is extremely important when it comes to machine learning. One of the biggest reasons is of course by understanding how particular algorithms work you also get to understand which algorithms are the best to solve certain type of problems so when you encounter these type of problems or a certain type of data you know exactly which algorithm is best suited for that. Additionally also set parameters in algorithms, choosing what type of parameters to actually include, choosing what type of features to actually include. This type of knowledge is actually better enhanced with the more math knowledge that you actually have. So if you have better understanding of the basics math such as linear algebra, probability and statistics, you are able to make a lot better decisions in machine learning. So of course, people would say that, hey, you can just use all of these pre-built machine learning libraries that already have a lot of functions which take care of the math, but you still need to know which functions in that particular library to actually call. So this type of knowledge actually comes with better understanding of the basic math in machine learning. Let's take a look at some of the best courses that you guys can take to learn all of this basic level math which is necessary for machine learning. So if you're an absolute beginner and you're starting out with linear algebra, Khan Academy is an extremely good resource. Also in Khan Academy, you can learn probability and statistics and multivariable calculus. Also for linear algebra, there is a great course on edX, linear algebra, foundations to frontiers, and this is by the University of Texas. And this is a really good foundation course for linear algebra. The prerequisites for this course is high school algebra, 
geometry and pre-calculus. So this is a, an excellent course that you guys can take if you are a beginner and you are trying to learn linear algebra. You can take this course for absolutely free, but if you would like to actually get the certificate from this course and also get access to the tests involved in the course and get some additional help within the course, you can actually pay for it as well. The second thing to learn is probability and statistics. And, and for that, Udacity actually has a really good introductory course to statistics for that, which is really great to start off with. It lasts for about, it takes about two months to complete and it's for absolute beginners. So that's really great. In this course, you will learn how to visualize, visualize relationships in data. You will learn probability, introduction to probability, base rules, correlation versus causation, estimation, things like mean, medium, mode, how to calculate those type of things, standard deviation, variance. You also learn uh, different types of distributions such as binomial distribution and normal distribution. And you will also get to learn linear regression in this course. So that is also a great course to start off with when you are learning statistics. Also, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, I have actually created an entire roadmap on how to learn machine learning from scratch. So definitely check that out. And in this roadmap, I've actually broken down the entire learning process into five different stages. So the math, learning programming, learning the basics of machine learning and all of that. And this roadmap also includes all the resources which are needed for each particular stage and also an estimate of how long each particular stage will take you guys to learn. So when it comes to the math for machine learning, I've actually divided it into three different categories. So beginner level, intermediate and advanced. So if you are aiming for these research level roles or if you're just interested in learning higher level of math, for machine learning then definitely you can learn all the way up to the advanced level and i've included the courses for that as well so one course that i would rec highly recommend if you are looking for more advanced level math for machine learning is called mathematics of machine learning and this is by mit open courseware and this is an excellent course and of course it is an advanced level so i would definitely recommend that you guys finish the basic level courses, and also take that intermediate level course before you start this one. In my roadmap, I also mentioned a book called Elementary Statistics. So definitely check that out as well. Besides the resources that I've mentioned, of course, there are way more out there which are just as amazing. So feel free to also experiment with what works for you and which one is the best for you guys to learn as well. And as I was mentioning, depending on what type of role you would like to have within machine learning, whether research or technical, that would also play a huge part in the level of math that is required for you to learn when you are getting into machine learning. I hope this video was helpful and I hope the resources that I've mentioned in this video are going to be helpful for you guys to learn from as well. Thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section below. See you in my next one. Thank you.